house of the Lord, may the Lord continuously bless you in everything that you do. So welcome to church this morning. I hope you are having an amazing time so far because there is more to come. So be very expectant. To all our online viewers, welcome to High Heights Church where we love, we serve, we grow and we make a difference. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. May God continue to bless you. If you are thinking of someone that you would like invite, like that you would like to invite, Please share with them this link in the name of Jesus. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share in the name of Jesus. And right about now, I would just like to invite our higher, our higher highest worship team to take us into an amazing time of praise and worship. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just lift up your hands and just crown the Lord King. Just let, let's crown the Lord King over Barnum. Let's crown the Lord King over our lives right now. Come on, just lift up your voices right now into the heavenlies right now. Father, Lord, we bless your name, O oh God. We glorify you, King of all glory. Let your worship rise right now. Let your worship rise right now. Come on, open your mouth right now. Just lift it up to the Lord. Lift it up to the Lord. Lift it up to the Lord, Jesus. We love you. We magnify your name. You are the one. Jesus, you're worthy. You are able, Jesus. We bless your name. Come on, raise up your worship right now to the Lord. Receive your love, yeah. Receive your love, yeah. Receive your love, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. Receive a praise. God, yes. Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Yeah. We love you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. The fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father. Noises thundering not quick was the response to my worship. The presence of my worship. Rose up to the Father, noises, thunder, lightning was the response of my worship. The fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father, noises, thunder, not quick was the response of my worship. The fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father, noises, thunder, lightning was the response to my worship fast is was fragrance then it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how in my battles yeah fast is was fragrance then it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how in my battles the fragrance of my worship the fragrance of my worship Was it right? 
Raise your voices. Over depression, over sickness, over belief, over cancer, tumors, and Jesus, 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 Feel our hearts with your love, your love. 
miracle can have. But now, what are you asking the Lord for? Just lift your voice. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Talk to the Father. Oh, the evidence is all around us. For the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit of the Lord is here. He said, ask and you will receive. Oh, oh, oh. We receive miracles. Yeah. Oh, and we receive an infilling Lord. For if you provide the fire, oh, I'll provide a sacrifice. Pour out your spirit, oh, and I will open up inside. Oh Lord, you provide, you provide, you provide the fire. Lift your voice and sing to the Lord, and I'll provide the sacrifice. Lift your voice, lift your voice, and worship Him. Say now, if you provide the spirit.
is bright. I wanna run over to all sicknesses I've got. I wanna run over until my life is full of this glory. I wanna run over until I come for any demon. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Isaiah chapter 55 says that everyone that thirsts should come. Hallelujah. You have come. I have come. There is unusual anointing here. Hallelujah. The Bible said that when they dedicated the temple, that the presence of the Lord was so much that the priest could not minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are two things that God used to bring his purpose to pass. 
His Spirit and His Word. Hallelujah. His Spirit is over here. Just open your mouth and speak. Provide the Word. Speak the Word of the Lord into your situation. Hallelujah. Speak into your life. Speak a blessing into your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. I don't know what you're going through, but I believe the Lord God Almighty in his mercy has come to visit this house, to visit me and to visit you in a unique way. You might have been in this house for many years and you might be looking up to the Lord for so many things, but now is a, a unique moment. Take the opportunity. Receive the fire. Receive the grace for acceleration. A triple acceleration. Hallelujah. The Bible said there was a time that Jesus was ministering in a place and the power of God was present to heal. Hallelujah. It is the valiant man that God healed, a man who came through the roof. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. By the power of God present here, I free every home. Hallelujah. Challenging me and you, challenging this church. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the hands of Gentiles. I destroy the power of darkness, resisting. The moving forward in the name of Jesus, your expansion for the Lord has brought every one of us to a large place. I release the grace to occupy in the name of Jesus by the reason of the anointing, the overflow of the Spirit of God. Every area of our lives is touched in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Oh, we bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What can I say concerning the choir? Hallelujah. Oh, we are grateful. Thank you for awesome worship. Thank you again. Hallelujah. The Bible says when you minister, the Lord himself comes to minister. So when he's lifted up, that God lifted him, that he might feel all in all. As we have lifted him up, may he feel all of us and feel you overflow. From you we have received. We return more blessing upon you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship the King of glory. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. This is just the beginning of many things. The Lord has just started today. The heaven is open. Hallelujah. Open your mind. Open your faith. Wherever you lock it into. Whether it's through discouragement or long waiting. Now I encourage you. Bring, out it, bring it out. Stretch your hand forth. Hallelujah. Ask for the things you desire. He said, the desire of the righteous shall be granted unto them. The Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. The power of God is here. If you cannot feel it, I'm, I encourage you. I can tell you it's here. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship the King of glory. We give you thanks. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I know we'll be standing for a long time, but the anointing is strengthening our legs. I want us to just remain standing. Hallelujah. We want to pray uh, some prayer here. Hallelujah. We want to take advantage of the atmosphere, of the anointing here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage us also not only uh, this time, uh, for uh, uh, every time you are here or at home, write prayer points, anything troubling you. We, we have different times where we pray. It's not only here. We pray in the morning. We have weekly prayer as well, where we handle issues. Take, collect a, a, a flyer and write your prayer point, prayer requests. We will pray over them. Things happen. Miracles happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Last week, we talked about our sister, Maggie. Hallelujah. Amen. She has been discharged. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? She has been discharged. Amen. From the life support being turned off, from being discharged, our God is good. Our God is good. Amen. That amen is too small. Our God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bring another testimony, our brother Chacha. You know, testimony, the Bible said they overcame the enemy by the, blood, by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. We have to shame the devil. 
Our God answer prayers. Our God is with us. We are not alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Six years, our brother Chacha. Hallelujah. His, his, his right, legal right to live and to work was terminated. God has restored it. Hallelujah. He has all the privileges, all the right, both to work, both to live. Hallelujah. It's because of you standing. Hallelujah. Let's give God thanks. Hallelujah. Our brother Fumini sent a, a card of thanks and appreciation to all of us for standing with him. He really, really felt your support, the support of the church. He is grateful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us also, as we sit standing, let us use the opportunity to pray for our sister, Glory, who the father, the father passed to Glory. Let us pray for comfort for them. Let us stretch our hand, hallelujah, to heavens concerning her. Father, Lord, we just pray for our sister, Glory, who, who her father passed to Glory. We just pray for comfort. We pray for strength. We pray for your visitation. We pray for your, uh, vis uh, your provision for them. All that they need spiritual and material in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I just want to pray a prayer for us before we go into the offering. Hallelujah. I just have a stirring in my spirit. There's so much to pray. Hallelujah. But the time will not permit me, but I just want to say a word of blessing. Hallelujah. You know, when I was coming to the service, I heard the enemy saying that, how can you go into a strong man house without binding, binding the strong man in that house and deliver the ghost? But our God, our Lord has triumphed. He has destroyed the strong man. He said he saw Satan falling like lightning. He has fallen concerning your life, concerning my life. You, everyone here belongs to the Lord. Therefore, I release a blessing upon you. I release grace upon you. I release a triple vis visitation upon you. He said from, from brows, you will bring forth gold. It's a triple visitation. Hallelujah. For brass, you will bring forth what? Gold. That means you will put in little. You will reap much. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Can we, we may be seated, please. Sorry for keeping you standing for too long. Hallelujah. It's a free time. You know, it's a time where we tell the Lord we are grateful. And we also partner with the Lord for what he's doing, for the work here. All, if you look at, the, we have four classes running behind the scene, and all the classes and all this program require a lot of money. Hallelujah. So all, whatever you give, it goes into this uh, activities, this program, to make sure that the work of God stands in this place. Hallelujah. As we give, I believe the Lord will bless you. It's our way of telling the Lord. So I will invite the choir. I just pray for the offering. Every hand, oh God, both our tithe and our offering. And our online worship, our online, uh, this in the back accounts will be on the screen for you to give. Hallelujah. The usher is waiting on us while the, uh, the choir uh, give a, a lead us in worship. Praise the Lord. The offerings are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We know the strong man is bound because our Lord has won the victory. And we stand upon the victory that he has given us by his blood irrespective of the report that we see around us or we hear around us. In Isaiah 53 it says, whose report will you believe? We choose to believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. By his stripes we are here. By his nail pierced hands we're free. By his blood we're washed clean now we have the victory for the power of sin is broken jesus overcame middle oh he has won our freedom Jesus has won it all. Oh, so we say, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Oh, yes. 
14th of November at 3 p.m. 14th of November at 3 p.m. Hello, welcome to High Heights Church, where we love, grow, serve, and make a difference. We would also like to welcome you to the couples lunch event happening on the 14th of November at 3 p.m. at the Burnham Park Hall. It is 50 pounds per couple. You do not want to miss out on this. Super Kids Services, that is the first loop, ages 2 to 6, 252, ages 7 to 10, and XP3 of ages 11 to 15 meet every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Super Kids Global Online Service takes place via Zoom every second Saturday of the month from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. GMT. Seamless Youth Service, a service of young people between the ages of 16 to 24 years. It takes place every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Our growth track training takes place every month. Check out our social media platforms for more details. Marriage talks continue every week on Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 7.30 with our very own pastors Peter and Pauline. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody say amen. Are you the blessed of the Lord this morning? Afternoon, actually, but it's good to see each and every one of you. That was wonderful worship. Can we put our hands together for uh, higher heights worship? Blessed be the Lord. God is so good. God is so faithful. That was really, really great blessing. And uh, if you are here for your very first time, we want to say that you are very much welcome. And we also want to say even those people who have uh, joined us online, we want to appreciate you so much for choosing here to uh, a place of where you can come for spiritual nourishment, and we want to bless the Lord today. And uh, we are going to finish what we've been talking in the last couple of weeks. We've been talking a blessed life. Somebody say blessed life. And blessed life, we've been looking into the uh, how, and I believe that uh, the moment we are born again, God bring us to a realm or realm where he wants us to operate in a certain spiritual blessings that activate our most of our uh, life here on earth because we've been looking and saying there is more than meets the eye. There is more than what normally happen in the physical. And we've been looking at creating atmosphere where you are prospering because there is an unseen hand of the Lord upon your life and upon your family. And I believe today, as we are coming to a close, we are going to get some nuggets that we can be able to hold on to, as I believe that God's word and God's principles are the key to usher us into his blessings. Somebody say amen. And so last week we started talking about tithing. And today, my message this today is the continuation of what we started last week. What is the tithe and its purpose? And today, I just want to speak to us, uh, now say amen, praise the Lord, and just encourage me there, because we are in a battle. Somebody say battle. And do you understand that uh, it was not enough for God to remove the children of Israel from Egypt, 
the moment they entered Canaan into the place where they were supposed to flow with blessing, a lad flowing with milk and honey, they were in a constant battle. So it is not enough for you to fight Pharaoh. You also have to fight Amalekite and Jebusite and Canaanite. Somebody say amen. That's mean when you are in the world and when you are not born again, there was some spiritual battle you fought. But just because you are born again doesn't mean that your life is free of change challenges. Somebody say amen. And I just want to speak to us right now because through Paul corroborating with the truth which I'm talking about today, he tells that we have been given spiritual weapons. And the spiritual weapon they are given because Satan is not going to give up until we fight. Somebody say, I am in a battle. And right now, where you are, probably there will be no, there's no bloodshed. There is nobody who is taking a spear. But actually, most of us, we know and we watch most of the time that they are, we are casualties and there are things that are happening. And I want to encourage us because we cannot just sit there and simply believe God that things will not happen. We have to know that we have been equipped. And one of the ways God has equipped us is to give us the truth and the spiritual principles to fight with in the name of the Lord. Somebody say amen. And as long as you have resident in this body, you will understand that you ultimately, ultimately and inevitably going to experience unavoidable challenges in this life. How many of us, how many are really authentic this morning in the name of the Lord? And tell me, Pastor, I know I'm fighting some challenges. And some of those challenges actually are challenges of our finances because God wants to lift us to a realm of blessings. Somebody say amen. And I know your prayers, and I know that your hard work, and I know that most of you, you work so hard, but that is not enough. There are some areas you understand, even if because your planning and your prayer and your hard work, most of the time it helps you and it advances you, but there are some areas you know that those people don't cut through. They don't accept you from fighting some certain behavior, some, some certain uh, adversities in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will be unwise, it will is unbiblical to be honest and it is unhealthy to, to, for us to think that our success will depend on the absence of opposition. I came to you today to tell you in the name of Jesus that God has given us principles that we can fight with and if, even if the enemy wants it or not, we are going to stand and we are going to win in the name of Jesus. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said, in this world you shall have opposition. In this world, you have tribulation. Amen. And so, stop saying that, you know, stop praying and start waiting for you to enjoy life and to advance in your life by praying that the happening and because that, the, you know, you know, the, uh, you know, our ad adversary who is our enemy to stop fighting you. He will fight you as long as you are a believer. Somebody say amen. And so, we are going to take on this in the name of Jesus because we don't have a gospel of avoidance. We have a gospel gospel which promises us to be an overcomer. Somebody say an overcomer. And do know that when you are overcomer, there must be an opposition. Hallelujah. So our gospel does not tell us only that we are going to have success. We are going to have victory if the enemy is asleep. He is not going to sleep. But I want you to know there is a lion in you that can be able to fight in Jesus' name. Because when the enemy knock at your door, there is something silent in you that God wants to provoke and cause it to arise in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are not going to resign. We are not going to throw in our towel in the name of the Lord. And we are not going to say that we are not going to fight. We are going to fight because God has given us some weapons. Somebody say amen. And those weapons are the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. And the Bible tells us that we don't fight like the, how the unbelievers fight. Because the unbeliever can fight by discipline, by willpower. But they will know that those things, there are places where they don't succeed. But there is another power. Somebody say amen. That the Lord has given unto us. Glory be to God. That God can give you some principles. Even if Saul, you fight David. But I want to tell you, David, if you know how to align yourself, 
yourself to the word of God. And it doesn't matter whether you don't know anybody in the palace, but if you know God has anointed you, God can hold your hand and bring you to the palace. And I want to say this morning, this is this afternoon, that you are the kind of a person that God is looking for in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Are you together with me? Hallelujah. Amen. And so some battles require strategies. Some battles require skills because you cannot outwit the God yet, but you can know the weakness of God yet and bring him down in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And some battles are necessary not only for advancement, but for you to guard the promise and the blessing that God has given you because they are, they are battles for advancement. Hallelujah. There are some battles to you know, to help you for protect what God has given you. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm releasing this morning in the name, this afternoon, the grace to fight in the name of the Lord. I'm releasing you to your blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen? And one of the area that God wants us to be secure and the one area that God wants us to give enough information, it is coming to the area of finances. Because I believe that God wants to lift us to a place where we have more than enough so that we may become a blessing. They are quiet on this side, but let me come this, this, this side. Do you know God you never, some of you when we ask you about finances, you remember all your problems, but there is a place where God will want to make you like Abraham. That you are saying, at Abraham I have blessed you so that you may become a blessing. There is no way a tap you give water unless it is wet. Somebody say amen. And the blessing has to touch you for it to touch somebody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. But once we start talking about money, you start thinking about what I have, and because all that you do, and even some of you, I speak to you right now, your money, you have already been paid salary, but you are on a negative. I'm speaking to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. God never decided you to live that way. There must be something wrong. Either you are eating too much, or, the, or either you are mismanaging your finances. You know, most of us, we are not living our lives. We are living somebody else's life. Hallelujah. And so, so let's start here because how many of us want to be blessed of the Lord? Did I tell you if at all you are, have 34,500, you are among the only 3%. And that is a household. The top 3% in the world. So don't look for more money. Look how you can be blessed with the what you have and God will continue to increase you and increase you more and more in the name of the Lord. And so God tells us that because you are farming, because so not because you are farming, because you are working, I want to give you some principles. And those principles will help you. Blessed be the Lord. My cousin here, Charles, the first day he met me. They're not the first day. The first day I remember one of the many things that he taught me. He taught me about tithing. Even before I was born again, and bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I learned tithing. Even, you know, he taught me two things. He was, you know, he's, he preached very scary things to me because talking about hell. Amen. <laughs> because I was, I was a hardcore and tithing, and I bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. That I even up to today, if there is something I know God can bless. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, if it wasn't for the masses of God, where would we be? Oh, that is for me. I was preaching to myself. I know where you came from. Somebody say hallelujah. But there are some principles God taught me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what the Bible says in the book of Marakai. We are a mere mortal love God, yet you love me. Hallelujah. But you ask, how are you loving? How are we loving you? In tithes and in offerings. So why are we loving God? We are robbing God in tithes and in offerings. And the Bible does not say you are stealing. The Bible says that you are robbing. I told you last week concerned the robber is a dangerous man. Thieves steal when you don't see, but a robber means life or death. Glory be to God. May every robber in this house be loosed in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. And the Bible says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse and there will be that there may be food in my house. Test me in this. The only 
place in the Bible that God has to test you. It's just like to say, test me if I'll not do it. I dare you do it. Now, if the Lord will give the heaven and the earth, the Lord who do all these things, and he'll tell you, test me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you still think that God cannot do it? God will do it. The Bible says, when you, t- when you say, say, the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not open the fragrance of heaven and pour out such blessing that there will be no enough room to, enough to store it. I will prevent Pest from devouring your crops and vine in the fi- in your field will not drop their fruits before it is uh, before it is ripe, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nation will call you blessed, for you are before you are, will be a delightful rod, say, says the Lord. And the Lord promises two things, which I want to learn with you this morning. The Bible says, "I will address the bright that hinder." The large, large, you know, the, the large fruitfulness. And there are two things that he say. He will address the eater and you address also the plant that, that, that are not able to go all the way to the maturity. Somebody say amen. The fruit that does not go to maturity. So the first thing that he say, I will prevent the rock, the, 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 the eater. And the eater, he say, it is a ferocious eater. He is a devourer. And the Bible says, this what the Bible tells us here, I will prevent pests from devouring your crops. You see right now, you are not a farmer, but let's, trans, you know, let's move forward to who to those that the scripture may speak to us. Crop were the things and the farmers, in Israel there were farmers. They used to keep, you know, they used to keep sheep and all those kind of things. And they also, you know, there were farmers. Come on, somebody say amen. So the first thing that they told them because they are, they, they, their economy depended upon these things. So when you're talking about uh, the crops, when you're talking about the sheep, these were the economy of Israel by then. And I want to say this, that there are some things. And some of us right now, we might not be taking care of sheep. But we know that where we are farming or the career that God has given us, there are things that affect us. That most of the time you put a lot of energy. Somebody say amen. And when you put a lot of energy, just by the time you thought that you are about to harvest, something hits you. These are what we call, come on somebody say, eaters. They are devourers. And they eat speedily. Greedily. I remember, I, I, I think last year, last year, uh, I have a sister friend of ours. And within a very short time, because some of these things, they don't hit you. But they hit somebody who is close to you. You remember how Jesus said, the Bible says there was a storm in the, on the lake. And the Bible says that the storm did not hit the boat. It hit the lake, but because of the proximity of where the boat was, the water spilled over to the boat. And some of the things that happened to us and the things that are eating our finances and our blessing are not directly to us, but it's a brother, it is a mother, it is a sister, it is something that is happening to them. But because of your proximity, hallelujah, it touches you. But I say this in the name of the Lord. I was talking to you about a sister friend of ours. Just within one month, one month, the sister got sick. Believe it or not, in a very short time, in a very, very short time, about five million. Five million is about 35, nearly 35, 38,000 pounds in one month. Now, what do you call that? That is the devourer. Somebody say amen. That is a devourer. And just because he has not strike, don't think that they are not close to you. It is God's blessing that protects you from such things. And some of you right now, you know that most of the money you are sending home and the people who are correlated to you, it is not for progress. It is to sustain and maintain them. But I pray this in Jesus' name. As you know how to tithe, as you know how to give, May the, Lord, may the Lord protect you from every devourer in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. There is a way you can protect yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, honestly, I don't remember in the recent past where I have sent some money to help somebody who was in a crisis. Because when you are a tither, God protects you. Hallelujah. Amen. And now you look at me that there's somebody who said, you know, everybody give tithes, but few give to God. 
Many people give tithe monthly, but when the enemy comes to correct, he can correct after 10 years. But everything you have building from, even Satan does not take the tithe. But one day it shall go. I pray this in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord, James. This side, amen. Hallelujah. I say this in the name of the Lord. When we give, we are protecting ourselves because the pests were very dangerous to the crop and they did not allow the crop to go to the maturity. Now, that is another thing because let me tell you, some of us right now, we have good mind. Some of us, we work so hard, but just about the time to get what we are looking for, something hits you. It's as if you are pushing and dragging. There is some frustration in the name of the Lord. You have a business idea. You have been doing this, but it seems as if you are so close and then something hits you and then you're all the way back. Tell you what? It's a devourer. Somebody, sorry. It's a de devourer. And I say this in the name of the Lord. May the Lord protect you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord protect you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Now, there are three things. There are three things that the Bible tells us. When you look into that scripture, when you look at it in totality, there are three ways that God can bless you when you are a tither. Three ways. And some of, you know, as we, James is putting there on the, on, the, on, on the screen. Now, God, somebody say amen. But sometimes God does not increase you, but what the Bible says, sometimes God prevents you from rusing. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes God protects you from rusing. What's the point of getting two million? Or get 2,000 pounds. And at the end of the month, you have spent 3,000 pounds on something that was not related to your progress and advancement. And so sometimes God now probably does not increase you, but sometimes God can prevent you from rusing. So instead of saying, oh, I've been coming, oh, I've been giving, do you know the benefit of what you have? <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Do you know the benefit of having a peaceful family? Do you know the benefit of having a healthy life? Do you know many people who have fallen during the COVID-19? Do you know how it is a blessing to rise up in the morning and see your children and bless them? Glory be to God. So sometimes, don't just look that my account did not increase. God can also prevent you from rusing. And some of us, if it wasn't for the Lord, hallelujah. Most of us, I do not know where we are, but God is good. And sometimes God can increase what you have. And that's what you like. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. And I pray that grace to come upon you in the name of the Lord. Some of you, you have been in one place over for one year, two years, and three years. Because the Bible says when you give unto the Lord, he opened the windows of heaven. Windows of heaven talk about ideas. And I pray this in the name of Jesus on this side. Hallelujah. I pray this in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you an idea that nobody has ever, ever thought about. Hallelujah. Because when people are just thinking about how can I get money, there are people who are looking for money. But don't look for money. Look for idea to give you money. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you that idea. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Look at the people who are given idea. A couple of years ago, Blockbusters, when people wanted to go to watch movies, what did they do? They used to go to blockbusters. Some of us people, you know, they are so young, they don't remember this. And God gave somebody an idea, Netflix. Somebody say amen. Sky News and all this. These are ideas. I pray this in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you an idea. Hallelujah. <laughs> the greatest billionaires in the world have been made in the last probably 20, 30 years. Facebook, somebody say amen. Instagram. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord give you that idea. Glory be to God. Because when you are given idea, you don't pray for money anymore. May that idea and the Bible says, I will open the windows of heaven and I will give you a blessing. I will flow that you cannot be able to contain it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And the other way is that God can help us enjoy what he has already given us. <laughs> There are people who, praise the Lord, they are work they have been given to gather. Have you ever seen that scripture? Some people are given, there are some people when you touch a pound, <laughs> praise the Lord. Some of you, do, you know, you cannot even treat yourself. You cannot even buy yourself. At the end of the month, you say, I have worked so hard. Let me go and enjoy myself in a certain restaurant. 
I was speaking to somebody in this house, I will not mention him. But he was telling, especially the ladies, when they hit over 40, they become stingy. I declare in the name of the Lord. <laughs> they are not on this side in the name of the Lord. And he was saying it's a truth. I don't know how true it is, but I pray this in Jesus' name. You will take care of yourself. Do you notice that Sarah at the age of 75, she was attracting kings. She was somebody who was taking care of herself. You ladies, somebody say amen. You are 30 and you are just looking blue. Say praise the Lord, amen. You take care of yourself, amen. Bless the person who has been waking up in the morning. At the age of 75, not common, not normal people, kings. Hallelujah, somebody say amen. Amen. It is a blessing to enjoy what God has given you. Life is not a destination. Life is a journey. Know how to pause and enjoy yourself in the name of the Lord. Treat yourself. Some of you, even if you go somewhere like now, I tell you, let's go and have a cup of coffee. You will not even enjoy the coffee. You are just thinking three pounds for a coffee. Somebody say amen. I pray. Somebody say I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you think, I remember one friend of mine, one friend of mine, he has gone to be with the Lord, 20, he died 2015, and, uh, and, uh, and, <laughs> and uh, we were central, in central London, and this man, he, he wanted to buy a jacket, and the jacket was 27 pounds, and he will pass, he will walk, he will pass, and I told him, pastor, even if you buy a jacket for 27 pounds, the world will not come to a store. And he didn't buy. Somebody say amen. I refuse that kind of life. I release the grace to enjoy what God has given us in the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't seek any apology. Somebody say amen. Treat yourself. Hallelujah. Enjoy afternoon tea in the name of the Lord and take a, and I, I, I give you take a photo and put it in Instagram <laughs> and say here I come <laughs> not chapati chapati always hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah amen take yourself there in the name of the Lord and say today I was in Buckingham Paris amen <laughs> come on somebody say amen you know, our work, because, and let me tell you, sometimes the way we are raised affects us so much that even when you come here, you still calculate the power with the currency where you came from. I roost you from that kind of a curse in the mighty name of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Ask my wife, I am a tither. But when I decide to buy anything, I buy it because I knew the season of suffering. When God has graced me in another season, I will enjoy myself. Because I am a tither and I know God also gives the grace to enjoy. Oh, they are not on this side. Can I hear an amen on this side in the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. I refuse. I told my wife one day, I have educated my children. We have taken them even to a private school. If somebody cannot take that with the knowledge and that I paid for, even if I leave him a wealth, he will still waste it. I will not resign my life because of somebody whom I put all my ears in him. I refuse in the name of the Lord. So next year when you hear I am in Singapore, somebody say amen. Enjoying myself. Hey, brother, I said. <laughs> James, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because, because there are some, I was speaking to another son and son, the certain pastor. He was saying, I cannot put anything because of my members. What will they say? Let me tell you, whether you say it or not, somebody say amen. I know it is a blessing. Because the Bible says there is one man who is blessed. There's another person who is given to gather. And then it is given to somebody. No! <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I refuse in the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. So there is a way God can help you to enjoy, but enjoy within the limit of your money. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Be a good management. Don't be extravagant. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. So somebody say, can you look at me on this side? Amen. 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 Even if you don't, if somebody will take it one day. Praise the Lord. Hey, praise Jesus. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just, I want just to speak to us about some, uh, some you know, having, developing some disposition of an overcomer. Somebody say amen. Things that we can acquire to for help us, to help us to be a winner. There are some attributes and there are some characters which are an asset, especially when we come to advancement and come to progress in life. And I just want to speak a bit in a, in a scripture in the book of, uh, in the book of Judges. And the book of Judges, because the Lord, I believe, he wants us to tap to this, to this uh, uh, you know, you know, case study. And this is a man, when you talk about Devorah, somebody say Devorah. The scripture, I love the scripture because whatever the scripture tells you, it will always give you an example somewhere where you can relate to. And this is Gideon. Somebody say Gideon. Now look at this because the Bible says in Judges chapter 3, 3 and 4, you see how Devorah and you see how the pest eat our health and eat what God has given us. Now look at this. For it was, for come on now, Judges chapter 6, 3 and 4 and 6. Come on, all of us, let us read together. For it was whenever Israel had sown their seed that Midianites would come up with Amalekites and the people of the west and go up against them. So they would come against them and destroy the crops of the land as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance in Israel as well as no sheep or ox or donkey. For they would come up with their livestock and their tents and they would come in as numerous as locusts. But, as the, but they and their camels were innumerable. So they came into the land to devastate it. So Israel was greatly improvised because of the Midianite and the Israelite cried out to the Lord. The Bible says they did not take the crop. They just came to devastate and to destroy. The spirit of Midianite is the spirit of, uh, of, of, of the spirit behind the eating of the destruction that will protect us from tithe, we, when we tithe in the name of the Lord. Now who were the Midianites? Because I like looking at these scriptures. Because whenever a scripture like this, it is not just God who have said, you know, an enemy came and devoured and destroyed everything. But he named the enemy. Who was Midianite? Now, remember the children of Israel. Their father was, their grandfather, grandfather was Abraham. Now, Midianites were also came from Abraham. Because Abraham had another woman when Sarah died. How many of us know that? She was called Keturah. And one of the sons of Keturah was Midian. Somebody say amen. So you have cousins, somebody say amen, who are fighting each other. All right. So what does this mean to us, pastor? Because some of the things that devour our resources are the very things that are born in us, either through disobedience, rebellion, and greed. Somebody say amen. I'll come on this side. Because the media and I probably we are thinking it's an army that is fighting from far, but probably it's the very thing that we have developed ourselves. And I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Medians, we are just the same blood right with the Israelite. But right now they are coming and they are overtaking. And I pray this in the name of the Lord. In the median, medianite, either through a behavior, either through a castle, or whatever it is that is taking your resources. Hallelujah, in the name of the Lord. I am prophetically speaking to you. In the name of the Lord, may the Lord fight for you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because some of us are being destroyed by a habit we have developed. It is a medianite spirit. Glory be to God. And we have to address it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says they came, they devoured, and they left nothing. I have seen people with behaviors. I have seen people in a certain crisis that they have lost everything. And I pray this in Jesus' name. May the Lord have mercy on us. You know, Brother James, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is this, you know, Midianites also, because when you look very well, this was not the first time for the Midianites to come and fight Israelite. The first time they came in the book of Numbers. And the Israelites, when they were fought, in, when, the, when they fought the Midianite, they, they left, you know, the women and they left the children and they came. And Abraham, you know, Moses said, why did you leave them? And Moses had them, the old, any person who had slept with a man was, was killed. But there was still a remnant that were, they were left. And they have regrouped now and they have come to attack. Somebody say amen, the Israelite. I pray this in the name of the Lord. 
Glory be to God. Some of us, the thing that we are struggling with is the thing that we struggled with yesterday, but it has an ability to regroup itself and come and affect us, affect us in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. And so what am I saying? Don't confuse winning war and winning a battle because some of the things that we have been fighting, they are just sighted, waiting to strike again. I pray this in the name of the Lord. I'm saying I'm prophetically praying for you as I say this in the name of the Lord. There are things that are dormant, but don't be, don't, be, don't be deceived. It could be dormant, it could be silent, but it's waiting for it to strike again. I pray for you in the name of the Lord. I pray for you in Jesus' name that Midianites will not regroup itself. It will not come to fight your children. It will not come to fight your finances. It will be protected by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Are you still together with me in the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. The Bible says amen. Hallelujah. Some of the things that, you know, and this is one of the things, because some of us even forget about money. Our anger has been coming again and again. Some of us, we are just angry people. And the Midianite spirit keep on fighting and fighting you. I lose you this morning. I release you in the name of Jesus. Be loosed in the name of the Lord. May you know freedom and liberty that Jesus bring because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Are you still together with me? Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. And the Bible says this is what makes these people peculiar. They did not, they did not even take the blood. They just came and devastated and destroyed everything. You know that spirit when you were young. You know spirit just to destroy. They were not even taking. They were just, and they were not killing Israelite. Just the time they were about to come and, 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 and harvest, they come. And there are some things, some of you right now, when you are just about to harvest, you know you have an idea. You have been pushing. Just about when you are about to harvest, you have put your energy. You have put your strength. You have put a lot of it. Just before you come to harvest, something strikes you. That's the spirit of Midianite. And I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, especially our business people here, that you come too close and then you find you are still very far. I lose you from that spirit in the mighty name of the Lord. Oh, they don't believe me in Jesus' name. You are putting the energy, you are putting the effort, and just about when you are about to, call you to, to harvest, the spirit hit you. I lose you in the mighty name of Jesus. I release you in the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that in the name of the Lord, as they came, they devastated, they destroyed everything. And all that they are trying to do, the spirit of Midian, because it wants to discourage you. Because you cannot keep on planting and planting. And when you are not, and you're having this the occurring battle over and over again, at the end of the day, if you don't protect yourself, you end up giving up in the name of the Lord. Because you are planting, and each and every time you plant, somebody come and harvest. Somebody come and destroy. So you feel there's no point for me to do any longer. And I pray this in Jesus' name. You've been fighting for our child. If you have been having a habit that you come and you come so close and you feel that you want to give up, that the spirit of Midianites. And I lose you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of the Lord. Square your shoulder. Stand right in the name of the Lord. Keep on pushing yourself. Keep on telling yourself, I cannot give up. I cannot give up in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you give up, even your body, when it give up, you and you will, you will be surprised how many fries come and come and you know hover over a dead body. But as long as you are alive, your body keep on fighting in the name of Jesus. And if you are fighting, it's telling us you are alive. Hallelujah! And it's just a matter of time because we're gonna get there. Hallelujah. I don't know how you might be get there when you are wet, but you're going to get there. You might get there with only broken pieces, but you're going to get there in the name of Jesus. Whom am I speaking to this morning in the name of the Lord? May you be loosed. May you be released in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and the Bible says in Judges chapter 6 and verse 3, and the Israel were great impoverished because of the Midianite, and the Israel cried out, to the Lord. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. They cried unto the Lord. And some of you, you are beating yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. The God, you know, I love one word that Bishop gave us some time back. That even when God allows Satan to build the house, God will always put the door before Satan built the house. So you, uh, that means God will always give you a way of exit. 
And some of you right now, you are beating yourself. Hallelujah. You are beating yourself. And you are beating yourself. And you are talking about how you don't deserve. And you are talking about how things have been happening to, uh, towards you and against you. And I pray this. The Bible says they cried unto the Lord. We don't call him the helper for nothing. Hallelujah. He specializes in helping people. As long as you can call upon him, you understand his line is not busy. Hallelujah. When you can call him, you know he specializes in helping people. May you call upon the name of the Lord. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. Hallelujah. You are a call away. You are a cry away in the name of the Lord. The Bible says, even a mother. Glory be to God. And there is a difference between a woman and a mother. A mother knows how to nurture and take care of children. Even that one, the Bible says, you shall, you know, can be forsake you. But I, the Lord, will never forsake you. I don't know where you have been. And I don't know how many doors have been crossed before you. But the Bible says, call upon me. Challenge you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't keep there and just keep beating yourself and telling I don't deserve. I know you don't deserve. And thank God you did not deserve. And you don't deserve. That's the problem with Gideon. Gideon was telling myself, oh, I come from the small tribe. Oh, I am the rich in my father's, my father's house. Who cares? Glory be to God. Show me one man in the Bible who qualified to be called a child of God or a servant of God. None. So you are just a one of the broken pieces that God has been using. And I thank God for that. Because if it wasn't for that, I don't know where you'll be. You'll be stepping on our, on our heads in the name of the Lord. But each and every one of us, we know we are coming. Just only be, we've been here. Even if you are just new in this house, we just came here before you. Every one of us, this is a, this is a, you know, this is a hospital. <laughs> Amen. Some of us have been in the hospital for a longer time. All of us, we are patient. Yeah. Hallelujah. You could be coughing, and now other than is headache. Amen. We don't go to see the doctor for the same problem. Somebody say amen. And so when you come, you see some people who are composed. It's that we have no mannerism for the, for the kingdom because we have been here for a long time. If you need to shout, shout in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. And when somebody shouts you down, you tell you like Bertie Myers. Hallelujah. You, you don't know the judge I've been fighting. You don't know the enemies that my family have been fighting. And you tell me to keep quiet. I keep quiet. You're going to fight my battles? The devil is a liar. Somebody say amen. The devil is a liar. I'm going to shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the people who are in the problem. They don't even know protocol. Have you ever seen people? I know some of you when you are here and when you are praying, you are just doing like this. <laughs> Listen, because you are not in trouble. When you are in trouble, you forget you have makeups. <laughs> when you see somebody crying, oh! <laughs> wait until you are put into a corner. Somebody say amen. You shout, you say, hey, slowly, slowly. Ah, ah. You come out because you know. When you are chased by a cheetah and when you are chased by a cat, you don't learn the same list. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. How many of us know that we have been learning and there is a lion who has been chasing us from generation to generation. And right now I am so close and you want me to keep quiet? The devil is a liar. They say the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Glory be to God. And when you give your tithe, when you give your tithe, the Bible says the moment they planted, the, they, they were about to harvest, the Midianite came and striked. That means they were so close, you cannot know when to harvest until you are so close to them. And listen to me, when we give our tithe, we involve God. And when we involve God, because some of you right now, the thing that by giving tithe that protects you, hallelujah, amen. And when we involve God, you are telling God, God, I want you to fight for me. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I happen to go to the hospital so often. And when you go to the hospital, you see old people and you see young people. You know, especially when you are young, you think you are immune to diseases and to death. But when you go to the hospital, you see all manner of people. And that tells you, Midianites are always too close. It is God who prevents them from striking. When you see your child, you wake up and you see your child. And your child are saying, bless the Lord. Bless 
the Lord because if you look in, their, in their, our country and in our, in our community, you see children who are taking drugs. The Midianite is so cross, but the Lord holds him back in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't think that people don't pray. If you have a child who has never given you problem, give God the glory. Amen. Don't take for granted when you conceive. I've been in places where people are crying for a child. The Midianites can be so cross, but God protect you in Jesus' name. And I pray this in the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Let's rise up on our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Riba baba shakara rara bayanda. Riba baba kayan terere de bosi aba kayan dari raba si aban. Ribo bobo shekere de boyanda ira bosi aba kayan. Riba baba baka. Dira baba baba zana rara rara puri amama si abanda ibere. Mere kasiri baba shinde ibol ya kayan dala rara ban. Riba baba baka. Rime me me kentende de bori se teri bariba saya bakayanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory, God. Come on now in the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, protect me from all my Midianites. In the name of Jesus. Now raise your hands up. God, do need to protect your family. God, protect your, your health. God, want to protect your business. God, want to protect your career. God, want to protect your children. Come on now in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't only fight for blessing. We fight to keep our blessing. In the name of Jesus. Rika satai makayanda. Rike tendere bosha. Birikilia taira mas. Siya baboshe, bari kere tai riba baba kuza, bari kayanda raba, bire ketere raba siya, bira kaira masiya baruka ekezima ibana. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I rebuke the spirit of condemnation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of inferiority complex. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call you to your greatness. I call you to the fulfillment of the life that God desired for you. In Jesus' name, I provoke energy. I provoke gracing, gracing upon your life to fight and to endure, to persevere. In the name of Jesus, Rika Satai Makande Reboshia, Bali Karina Isiba Baba Kayanda, Riba Shekere Basia Makanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just before I wind up, look at this. When God came to Gideon, he told Gideon, he called him Gideon, mighty man of Vera. Everything was a contradiction. Whatever God was calling him was a contradiction of what Gideon was portraying and who Gideon was. He was not even fighting and God took out him the mighty man of Vera. Because when God calls you something, you become. Amen. I said you become. Amen. God in the book of Genesis, let there be light. He had no candle. He had no matchstick. He had no torch. And he became. When God is speaking to you about your future, you are talking to him about your past. When God introduced you to your possibility, you are telling him about your future, about your family. Listen to me. If you do not know how to release your past pain, you'll never be able to go to the place where God has called you. Thank God for how you are raised. Some of us, we have a lot of history, and that history has been holding you back. God is calling Gideon, and Gideon is telling about himself to God as if God is supposed to be lectured by Gideon because of our past mistakes. Some of us, we are held back by a sin we committed when we were in primary school. I don't know who is that is. Listen to me. If God were to, you know, if your salvation was for you to come and reap what you used to do before you gave your life to Christ, what is the purpose of salvation? God is able to give us a clean slate. I don't care whether you killed. Paul was a murderer. I don't care whether you aborted. God knows how to cross some files. And some mass, some of us, I don't know why I'm strongly feeling this. 
there is a guilty conscience that have held us back that never been released in the name of Jesus. It is hindering your marriage. It is hindering so many things that you have done. And it is a time now to roast yourself and say, I am going to become a mighty man of Vera. What God has called me to do, I will become in Jesus' name. Will God change your history? No, but he can rewrite it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. If you have a child right now, and you tell a child, sit there, because you have misbehaved for an hour. And then when you come back, you tell the child, rise up and go and say, no, I will stay here for another two days. That the very condition some of us are right now, we are already roosted and released. And you are still telling God, no God. Because the spirit of the enemy is the spirit of accusation. I rebuke that spirit right now. Raise your hands up in the name of Jesus. I lose you right now. I release you right now. I lose you in the name of Jesus. Rika shika ikanda la baba yanda. Rika teri mama siya. Panda re resiya taira mama yanda. Rika se tere babi abasanta. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Gideon went and fought with 320 men. 300 against hundreds of thousands of Philistines. The question was, what may change Gideon? Could Gideon could have delivered the Israelites even before God had called him? Yes, he could have, but because of inferiority complex. Nothing changed. It's only his perception changed because he started to see himself from God's perspective. I pray this in Jesus' name. I don't care where you came from. I don't care your color. I don't care whether your agenda. But let me say this. See yourself. And this is what I say. Let God introduce you to yourself you have never met. I'll repeat that again. Let God introduce you to you, to you who you have never met. Because there is a dormant and there is a sly, lying, uh, 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 you know, uh, lying giant within you in the name of Jesus. He went and won with 320 against hundreds of Philistines. Right, raise your hands up right now in Jesus' name. I declare the young girl who had vision and dreams, may she rise up again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May the young man who believe God for, uh, for great things, may that energy rise up again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. I cross every door. Hallelujah. And some of those people, you remember when Gideon went to slay the altar, the very people he was supposed to help, they are the people who came to attack him. And listen to me. Some of the people who remind you about your failure and your past are the very people who are close to you because they do not know. But today in Jesus' name, I am introducing you to yourself. You have never met in Jesus' name. You are going to know this and it is your work to remind them of the new you. They are not going to know that. But I pray this in Jesus' name. May you receive that grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now raise your hands up and tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the future you have for me. Thank you for the life of victory you have for me. Right now, I'm pressing on toward the mark and toward the vision. And the dream you have for me in Jesus' name. Now and bless it right now as you put your hands together and give God a clap offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you are in this house right now, and you know you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I want to pray right now in Jesus' name. It's a great opportunity, great, great opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. And I want you to say with me, Please, it could be somebody on here or it could be somebody online. Play with me, church, as we welcome that one person and say, Father, I said, let's, let's encourage the people who could be doing that. And all of us, let's say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I, come to you. I ask you I ask to forgive my sins. To forgive my sins. I, repent I repent of my past life. My past and from today, from today, I give you my life. I give you my life. 
from today, I commit my life before you. Save me by your grace. Help me to live for you. Cleanse my sins and give me a new life from today in Jesus' name. If you have said that prayer, you are born again. Look for a church which is near you. If you are close by, you can come and fellowship with us in the name of the Lord. And dear, if you are in this house, come and see us and God will bless you. Amen. God bless. God is able to do just what he said.